developing film with coffee. So in all seriousness then, yes, you can develop film in coffee, although not like that. I think we should try it out. So first of all, we're gonna need a photograph to develop. So I think we should hit the road, see if we can find something interesting to take a picture of, and then we'll get processing. Oh, and in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be plenty more videos coming up on there shortly. So without further ado, let's do this. Right then, I've come down to a, a local canal. I'm going to try and do a photo of a, an old canal bridge. They're usually pretty interesting subjects, so we'll uh, see if we can get a shot taken and then we'll get back and process it. shot taken so let's get back and get it developed okay so I've got the film in the developing tank so we're ready to do this I'll just go through the ingredients for this uh, mixture and then we'll get started so from left to right then we've got our soda crystals uh, granulated coffee, some vitamin C powder and some iodized table salt. And we just need to mix those together to make this uh, developer. So this mixture creates a developer called Caffeinol and there are quite a few different recipes online for this. Um, they all use household ingredients um, that you can get mostly from the supermarket although some things like the uh, vitamin C powder you have to get from a either a health food shop or somewhere online. Okay, so I've got my developer mixed up and ready to go. So I'm going to get on now and do the uh, the development itself. Um, the recipe that I'm using states a development time of 15 minutes. So I won't film this bit because it'll be really tedious, but we'll come back when the film's being washed and then we'll do the big reveal and see what, uh, see what results we get. Okay, the development's done, the film's washed, so let's uh, let's pull this out and see if we've got an image. Well, we've got something, looks like a canal bridge, surprisingly enough. So, uh, yeah, that looks quite good. I'll uh, just give that a bit of a rinse. I've got some wetting agent in this water, so just avoids the streaks when it dries. So what I'll do now, I'll hang this up to dry and then we'll, uh, we'll get it scanned in and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got the image scanned into Lightroom now, so let's have a look, see what we've got. Okay, so here's the negative in Lightroom. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to reverse the image. Now, I'm gonna use Negative Lab Pro for this. I know it's just a black and white photo, but Negative Lab Pro will reverse that pretty quickly for us so I'll just set this to black and white convert negative and it shouldn't take too long at all I did scan this in in two parts and then 
merged it together as a panorama. Now I have got another video that discusses how I scan these negatives in in much more detail so I'll stick a link somewhere for you to go and check that one out if you're interested in in that. So here we are then and it's really just to have a look at how this developer has developed this negative. Uh, it looks pretty good to me. A lot of people say that using caffeinol produces uh, higher contrast and sort of grainy grainier results than a proper developer should we say but since i'm using large format here and the negative is so big the the grain in there is i mean i can't see any grain here at all so that looks uh, that looks pretty good to me and again it's just a demonstration so there's nothing spectacular about this image at all it's just an image to demonstrate the technique Okay then, I think that pretty much wraps it up for this one. Hope you found it enjoyable and informative. And if you're a film shooter yourself, why not give it a go? Once again, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to keep up to date with my future videos. See you on the next one.